Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Inkbound, the new turn-based roguelike from the creators of Monster Train that I'm excited to be back to here today. Doubly so, because I've unlocked a new class between episodes, the Clairvoyant, which, let's go through their abilities here. Telekinesis, move your shard globe, deal 20 damage, I'm assuming, to any enemies we hit. Allies that it passes through will also gain a shield. We have Psychic Pulse, deal 50 damage in a small area around your Shard Globe, gaining a Psionic Charge. So, we're going to be moving a, like an actual physical orb around that we'll, you know, need to physically hit things with. Uh, and then we gain a Psionic Charge. After reaching max stacks, gain full charge. Once fully charged, your bindings and auras will be amplified. Don't know what that means yet. Deal 50 damage. Spirit Bomb. 50 damage in a huge area. At full charge, deal 150 damage and consume all of your psionic charges. Gotcha. So full charge means your auras are 100% stronger. Oh my god. How many auras? We have one aura. Surely there will be ways to get more. Your shard globe has a powerful aura. Generate psionic charges to empower your auras. Uh, at the turn end, do 25 magic damage to enemies in range of the aura. Great. Okay, well, let's get into it. I think that that's going to be a better way to fully figure out what the heck this is going to mean, but it sure seems... Okay, it's not not a dam uh, you know, magic damage dealer. Telekinesis does physical damage, but the things that seem to be the main source are magic, so we're going to have to kind of make a choice. On collecting an orb, reduce the cooldown of your highest cooldown binding by one. That seems so good. It seems keepable for the entire run, if you ask me. Uh, so our base move, we could have that do an extra 10. On turn start, have a 35% chance to gain a psionic charge. I feel like, why not, right? Yeah, let's go with that. All right, so where are we heading to? I will say uh, we got a rank up, which means that there is a new modifier, and that new modifier is that the goop does more damage to us. I gotta be honest, never in my entire life do I ever have interest in taking overstimulated again. I think that uh, taking damage <laughs> on collecting orb sucks so bad. Each turn create a bomb is probably what we're gonna go for, or enemies restore health. Let's go for this because I think that zone is brutal, especially as a first zone. So let's hop on in to Garden's Edge. It feels like a better place to start, I would say. Um, fully augment bindings is our goal. So probably going for money. Like, we want to beeline it to 250 uh, quillings in case we get that option where it's like... Ooh, potion up here. Augment a binding, pay 250 to get another... Another augment. Alright. Okay, so our orb... Our orb does stay down. It starts on the ground. It's right there. I have a, a skin for it. I have gotten a little bit degenerate with my <laughs> costume on this character. I can't deny. Let's look at it for a second. I uh, just... Something about the way it moved the shoulders. I just didn't really want myself... I don't know. It's just too seductive. But when you throw the gnome on it, for some reason, it just feels better to me. Okay, so that's with a crit, apparently. We could do the big blast. So here's the thing. I can't really justify going for that unless I'm going to actually kill them. You are doing... Increase the attack of all enemies at the end of turn. Okay, so let's go for the uh, big explosion. We can do this, and we could theoretically even just do it again. Sounds good to me. And you're not even in physical range. I can't get I can't get it to hit me too. So I don't really need a shield though. Let's go ahead and slap you with it. Oh, this is... Okay, this is already, like, a really interesting class. So, at the start of the turn, you do a little bit of damage, yeah. Hmm. 
Oh, I was hoping you'd be in range too. Oh, that is going to be tricky. If you thought pixel hunting was rough. So grab that. We can do a big old blast. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. So I could move through, and then I could move through. We could get two shield. You're doing how much? You're doing three. Let's see On countdown. So if I do that twice, then you'll be doing four damage. I'll be taking two. This is only a one blast, which... I feel like it's not bad. All right. Well, I'd love to move it through myself and hit him. Yeah, I don't think we should have done it that way. I thought we'd maybe do a little bit more. Yeah, I can't get the shield. So we'll just accept this. We could have... Yeah, we should have just done it the initial way. We would have taken a bit less. I'm just so freaking far, man. Can't reach that. So I would certainly want to at least move my orb when I move here. Okay, so you're in the radius now. Huh. Yeah, so the single target is a lot weirder. It's a lot weirder. How many charges do we have? We have two. Okay, so this does so much now. I think we say sure on that. Increase the attack of all enemies. Does that include you or not? Let's just... No reason to chance it. That's with the critical, huh? Okay, that's pretty fun, though. It is pretty fun. I, I think that we can ramp ourselves up pretty strong. Right now, we're like, eh. I think this has the potential to become my favorite class, though. Like, wh what I'm noticing right now, there's some finicky stuff that it feels like you always kind of get that right away. You always start with, like, a little bit of weird finickiness. Uh, I'm going to increase my base damage. I know it's the physical move, and that's going to be annoying. Yada, 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 yada. But I think it's fine. Steal large amounts of money. Jinx is so logically good. I'm going to go for the steal money there. It's so early in the run, it being offered as our literal first option. When we get to a shop, we might be able to, like, you know, clean it out. If we play our cards right here. Okay, so we do starts out here. So it kind of starts out on us. We could do it twice. It's a little bit expensive. It's a lot expensive. Especially because it doesn't do that much more than this does. It just does it in a better area so that, that we're not wasting it on you. You could go for like a one, two, three, but then you're going to buff up. You're going to buff up him, which I don't care about. Oh, I was hoping that was a kill. This is doing 30, so I'd go for, I'd have to go for a one, two. At this point, we kind of just have to. Okay. Not great. Okay, 
So this move, I kind of want to... Surely that hit. Yeah, okay. So now we have the Super Blast. This does as, uh, as much as it's going to do. I don't think we can get another unit inside that circle. Yeah. We were always going to take a little bit there, but I think that's okay. Three damage. Is it worth a shield? I'm going to say no. But yeah, the, the, the finicky thing here being readjusting the orb. It's good. I, I like it mechanically. It's a fun thing. It's tough when you don't get to see exactly where it's going, you know? I don't want to get hit by it. Mm. That's the thing. It's like, do I want to take damage? I got to get moving on this, but it's so... I'm doing peanuts for damage. This is once a turn, right? Yeah. So I think that that... That makes sense. We can get the pulse up. Hopefully, we get the lucky extra bonus pulse. That'd be lovely. We did not. Or we did. We did. We did. So, what does this radius look like? Um, Because, yeah, you got to know it, where it's going to go. And then you kind of have to presume what the auras are going to look like. It almost feels like... When this should have a very faint two circle radius, one for the radius of this and one for the radius of that. You know what I'm saying? So have a very, very faint one. This guy's gotta go, and I don't know if he's in the circle or not for it for the second move. So let's just do this and find out. Okay. At this point, we can just get out of the circle, steal your money. There we are. That should... It's not quite a kill, but it will be. There we go. There we go. Uh, I didn't, I did not click that, but apparently I did. I'll take a 10% physical damage up. Interesting, interesting. Uh, steal one health. Bonus crit chance and crit damage on critical pulse. Could be fine. I'm going to say sure. Like, let's increase our chance of getting that. Uh, free binding augment and the capability of getting another. That's absolutely how we want to go about this. Let's start with the rare so we know what we're working with. Gain damage aura. But. That's. What's different about this? On use, deal 25 magic damage to enemies in the aura. How's that different than this? So, I think that we should try and utilize the full charge ability to upgrade this 25 damage as well, I guess. Hexing aura. Enemies inside the... Wait, that's actually pretty good. Enemies inside the aura are inflicted with Hex, which is increasing their uh, their magic damage that they take by 30%. That That's pretty big. Minus one cooldown, 15% crit chance on bomb. That sounds pretty good. 
Spirit Vault, Glyph Globby Wall. I mean, I can't be, you know, I gotta be honest. <laughs> Did I want the extra three damage on this? No, but uh, there, there are worse things we could have picked. Okay, so this gets put down right by me. Interesting. It almost feels like we should be able to put, choose where the orb goes at the start of every turn. Almost. Like, I get that that defeats some of the purpose, I'm sure, but, like... So if I move this to hit you, is it in the aura of all of you? It is. It sure is. Good. The fact that you guys live is upsetting. So what attacks coming from where? What's this third circle? Oh, the bomb that we have at the start of every turn. We do get the powerful upgrade, so auras are 100% stronger. I don't think that that's going to apply to, you know, oh god. See, this is the thing, it's a guess. I don't know who, uh, I don't know who's in that circle. It has to be a guess. Nobody in that radius. We'll get a feel for it as time goes on, but I, I really meant to have that guy in it too. And the thing is, I can. I just could, I couldn't see what it was good. Uh, okay. All right. It's so cool, though. This is going to do jack squat for us, really, though. I'm not going to... And he's, it's also not in the aura. So how much damage do I take out here? Still, like, a lot. I think that this is going to be the turn for for this at the very least. I think that that went so poorly that we kind of have to um, go about this this way. Which sucks. But we get it we get to go for it. Turns good. I mean, surely we'll maybe there'll be like a way we can upgrade the passive on this or something. That'd be exceptionally useful. Okay, that felt great. Like when you get the things to work, this like I'm really I'm into it, obviously. But you have to get them to work. You know what? I'll take the turn to spend some money. You know what? We can also... Can we hit both? Sure. Get some money. There we are. They're both in that aura. Should be pretty good. Are we at the... Yeah, we're at the full threshold. All right. All right. When we get the hang of this, I think it's going to be great. 20%, uh, okay, well, this, on defeating an enemy inflicted with burn, this vestige gains a burn damage. Oh, God, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, free use, okay, okay, a free use of telekinesis every turn is probably gonna be a really big deal. Like, that helps with what I was just saying, where... Because now I could maybe feel like I could throw away one movement just to reposition. On critting, gain a small amount of quillings five times per combat. My crit chance is pretty good right now. 11. Shadow 
shadow book really helps these are all logical this is really cool for later if i could get burned this is very 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 cool um but it's tough it's tough it's tough it's tough this is the most like thematically relevant with like with the items i picked up this is the most thematically relevant with the character and this is a rare that could be good that isn't good yet so i'll get the shadow book for now all right what are we looking for An ally gains a stack of evasive and gains critical charge on a random binding. Could be great. Could be great. Create a plant that gives you a will for each turn that's on the ground. Obviously could be good. I'll grab the uh, this sort of safety perk here. I don't have that much money. I don't remember what this does. Let's go make a powerful choice. We, we don't do this very often. Okay. Lose 35 health to get an epic vestige. 15 health, gain 10 max health. 20 health, gain... Let's get stupid. On... Oh! <laughs> On being hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we're obviously going to get the uh, the cost discount there. On being hit, gain 30% physical damage until the end of combat. It could be okay. And now I'm almost like, well, I, do I freaking what? Do I turn into just an orb chucker? Like I literally just throw the orb around a lot? Trying to stack up that power. I can guarantee this crits. Eh, I'd rather save it for next turn, I guess. Sort of a wasted first turn, sort of. If I don't, though, but eh, it barely. On turn start, lose the stacks. <laughs> I'm gonna rob him. Could have maybe tried to, uh, ooh. You're in the aura? Yeah, you're in the aura. Good. move getting hit might not like if i could get hit but take no damage that is actually sort of the ideal here because then i gain 30 percent damage with this move yep yep sure did sure do How much would I take out here? I mean, I, I I get that I die, but how much damage is it? It's eight. Okay. I die even out here? I'm in the circle? Oh, because I'm floating. I'm... Oh, my God. That's going to be rough. So, I have three left. So, I could even do... This got a discount. Just going to go for this. We didn't get the one I wanted. But that's fine. Because we're still exploding yet. He 
fish. I kind of want to just go down and grab that. I'm not dying here already. Okay. We're two. <laughs> okay. The, the big AoE is... I think it's fine. So we're taking... Five, which is because the allies got killed there. It's fine. Is it risky? Absolutely. Is there another one? There's not another one. That's because he's kind of doing sort of a I definitely get to hit you kind of a thing. Uh, but I, you do one damage anyways, so you, I, I need you dead anyways. Okay, this is, the fact that this is a crit is so nice. Okay, you're doing six. Free. We need to make sure we get all these shields. I can't dodge this with evasive. It's not a direct attack. So we go for that. I'm alive. Man. Who knew sacrificing all of your health is... Uh, dangerous. Do I need to buff up? I don't really need to buff that up. So you're doing six. I could theoretically... I could block five. I could technically block all of it. You, But you're going to be doing seven. I could get up to five. I could cast it five times. Six times. I could cast it six times. Uh, two damage. I could live even just doing... Uh, I, I, you know, just the standard smack, smack, smack. But the thing is, we have... Si uh, yeah, this has 60 damage now, so it's... Become quite spicy. The fact that I kind of want to go for a physical build now, just because we got such a good relic, is crazy. Uh, two stacks of evasive, gain critical charge on two random bindings, and one stack of swift, which is more movement. Ally gains five stack of stealth and wait, five stacks of stealth. Hold on, stealth is a lot better. Uh, ten ability power, so one hundred percent extra damage on a move or a dodge. That's so much better. And it's ability power, so it's really like it could be anything. Mighty pulse could gain. 40 damage. That sounds great. Yes, please. Thank you. Alright, now let's go get some healing. I've sufficiently risked the biscuit. Hello, young Quill. Hello, don't talk to me. Oh god, you're really making me have to actually pick at this point. So this is a good, this is good. But dear god, the majority of our damage comes from other sources. By, by, like, a long shot. <laughs> so, the fact that this does physical damage, it sends me. Figured by the fluff of feathers that she finally felt that fluttering filth. Ben means the raven, Cinder. You've done well in defeating it, if only temporarily. A fatal fortune for the fallen, but a fabulous fate for our fair, uh, friend? Friends? Yes, but, Nib, are you saying we are becoming friends with this young Needless? I suppose. Fantastic! On your turn, minus 10 movement, lost after defeating an enemy. Res enemies restore 15% of their missing health each turn. Every time an enemy is hit, they gain a damage resist. 
Generally, these aren't too bad. I will go to the Venge Wood. It's annoying. They, they can get a lot of damage resist if you hit them a whole bunch. It's annoying, but let me let you in on a little secret. Every single one of them is annoying. <laughs> it's a, they're all rough. Vault or Quilling? Um, I'm going to keep going for Quillings just because of our passive and the fact that we can just buy cool stuff at the shop, perhaps. Let's move up here in case there's a potion. There is... Reduce cooldowns by three. That could absolutely save our life. Okay. I was going to say we should have put it by him, but, like, there's no guarantee that we... That it even does anything. Because he might just run. Already alive. I have my big boost, so this should be doing some stupid damage. It's not doing that stupid of damage, honestly. Undodgeable? Why am I taking damage? I have stealth. On being hit with a direct attack, dodge instead and lose a stack. I have two stacks. That's direct damage. I should theoretically still have a dodge. I shouldn't take this hit. There was an AoE. There was a still an AoE. That checks out. Good. So now I definitely do have an actual direct hit. But I can pick up this and we could... Now we can actually dodge it. <laughs> so I kind of want to throw this. Buff. Blast. This is going to do a lot. Which means I have one free mana that I kind of want to spend first, if I'm going to be honest. So, I am going to... I'm literally just going to I'll steal from you. Right? One, two, three. We want to do it in that order because... Maybe it'll make the difference. Okay, so we'll steal first, then we'll shadow image so we don't waste the buff. Throw. Explode. Well, I thought that would do a lot more. You know why? Ink shell. That's that actually did that harmed it a bit. Okay, so we have the explosion. I think it's worth it to just do right now. No thought head empty. Getting out just makes us take zero damage. I think we just run. And slowly move the orb, I guess. Probably where we would like it. So now we're taking guaranteed damage. But I am going to go for a... Oh, okay, there was a, that was a gamble, actually. I'm 
going to hit you first. Because we're not going to be doing very much here. But I am going to be guaranteed blocking this attack. We just got to save one at the end of our turn. Is this doing a lot? No, but we might as well do it, is the thing. Guaranteed block. I got the two. So we can go for a big old blump, and then a big old blump, but it doesn't kill. I could stand in the poison instead of this attack, and it is less damage. Spirit Bomb, do 370. It's never going to kill. Okay, we might as well hit with both. Then we don't want to do the other one yet. Let, let's, let's... So you just take four damage no matter what out there. Is how it goes. It's just, you take that hit. It goes through your shield and everything. Because that... It does the same amount now. All right. All right. All right, you son of a gun. Do I have a three? I don't have the three yet. And now you're doing the guarantee. But the good news is I can do this right now. Guarantee that it's going to be on shadow image. Uh, I'm not going to be casting more than five bindings, so we might as well. Try. Four. Get the crit. I'm at three. Did I already steal from you? I already stole from you. This is not doing that much. That's not doing that much either. I could reduce the cooldowns and I could go bang, bang. But I'm also not taking damage this turn. So. As long as I don't. Yeah, spend one more. All right, we're good. All right. Jesus. I'm not going to spend it on healing. It's... I hate it. Allies hit... Allies hit gain two shield. Sure. That'll work. Now, okay. I will spend some money on healing. I think that that's fine. Do one here first. 100% crit damage. That's going to help a lot. On your first turn, gain three stacks of stealth. Certainly helpful. I like the idea of spending gold on health more than spending what is... I don't know. It's tough. It's tough. Ink bound of yours is still trying to make things right, right? Stop the darkness, save the world, and all that ink and gas. Well, the day they do is the day I take off this mask and kiss your quill. <laughs> Besides, <laughs> saving the world is business, and I, for one, don't think I'm the only soul wishing things stay dark. Get me? Well, be buying or be moving, needless. Better things for both of us to be doing. Definitely going for this. All right, so I should have gotten a pretty noticeable power spike. If I ever crit, the damage is kind of crazy style now. Oh, phased is going to be really bad for us. Yeah, 
was gonna say, because that's you're probably not gonna be in the aura. If I move you up there, you're probably not in the aura. That would give us shield. If I move it up one here, I get the shield and I probably get the Ay ay ay. Oh, this is annoying because I don't want to waste that. I know that you're going to have the ability to root me in place. Ay, ay, ay. And I don't want to waste the crits. God, this is all so awkward. Okay, so if, yeah, if we. That's what I was thinking. If we get out, we do not take any damage. We have to make sure. That's only if we spend one more binding. So it would have to be something like, like this. Yeah, I think, which I think we go for this angle. Because then we still get to block this guaranteed hit, which would do how much? Four? Huh, I guess it wouldn't matter. Oh, well. Oh, I love that, except for the fact that you are phased. I am rooted. You son of a gun. Okay. So all of this damage is coming from two units who are guaranteed to hit me, huh? Is that right? Sure is. Interesting. Ooh, a crit. That could help. Uh, you have the phase on you anyways. You son of a so-and-so. Alright, and there's no point to do anything else. Like, I kind of wanted to do this one. Critical charger. I guess I could still do it now. It's, it's, a, it's a slight waste, because we do we do get that one dodge. Okay. Whoa. I think I, um... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought I had one more point. You, who the hell are you? Oh, God. There's just so much. There's so much stuff. That's so annoying. Oh, man. All right. That's on me, but I hate this uh, the fact that this guy has the, the phase block here. Pain. That is pain, man. Because I know that I, yeah, I know, on that one I know I die if I, there we go, that'll help. Steal an orb once every two turns, gain the damage, gain damage aura. 
I guess I don't understand what that means. Is it just in general gain on use? On use of the orb? An extra stack of evasive. It's kind of nice. This could be really good. The phrasing on it's a little weird. I just want to see what else we've got. I mean, okay. Accurate image when we have plus 100% critical damage is going to be good. Move your shard globe. Do 255 damage. Oh, this, so this gains the ability to move it as well. To enemies in his path. And at full charge, do 425. Enemies are pushed back and consume all. This is just make it do crazy damage. It's more expensive as well that way. That's kind of, that's fine though. Because it, at full charge, it does five times as much. <laughs> so. Spirit Cannon is nice because it, 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 it's more flexible that way. Buying more healing probably would have been good, but... Alright. Do that, so we also get our drafts. On collecting orb, gain 10 ability power. On hitting, inflict daze twice per turn, 30% less damage. One will per orb up, and I'm, I think we go for that one. Alright, we may have just shifted things quite well. Reduce the cooldown of your highest binding by one. It has to be one of these two, and I'm trying to process what would be a better upgrade for this one. Then that. Rare Augment, Glyph Globe. I definitely don't need the Glyph Globe. Alrighty. Yikes, man. Yay and yikes at the same time. They're just... Everything is just so far away. Okay, so now I kind of get to cheat. Not cheat, but look at that. I get I get to know I get to know when they're in my aura now. Sort sort of. See look, there those would be in my aura because they're in my damage aura. know how to handle this though like the th good news is we'll be able to do shadow image and we'll be fine I mean, that's a lot. That does do a lot. Lost on using any binding. All right, that's a lot of damage. We can we can obviously block this last one if we want. We should have like done this, then done the other. Oh well. An additional random block? Wait, what? What? Is it oh, they just can't get it while they're on cooldown. That checks out. That checks out. Okay. So you're doing guaranteed. You're both doing guaranteed damage. But I have... Okay. I could try and kill, which is going to be a lot. Is 
And if I if I'm off, then I take. If I can't kill, I am screwed. If I do that. So I kind of just like the ability to guarantee I don't take any damage. I don't love this. I, I hate passing on five mana like that, but we needed to get these dodges back. So how many guaranteed? So if I... It's fine if I end my turn outside of a circle with that, I can block five. So I need to have one mana and be over here. I don't even know who's doing that. Oh, that's just the bomb effect. Like that. Oh my god. That's. <laughs> I think it's fine. So we'll. We have two. Oh my lord. That did even more than I thought. Okay. Silly. Feel a lot better now, though. Uh, forty percent more crit damage. Sure. On each turn, reduce the cooldown of the first binding you use by two. Uh, could be good on that. Defeating an enemy gain using a binding gain a stack of stored enemy or stored energy for every ten damage dealt. So basically, if I super kill a unit, I can then super kill another. That's pretty good. Because we do a lot of... That's pretty useful for us in specific since we have such overkill damage. Alright, I'm just going to free myself. Do I have a worse one than that? I feel like I might. But I'm going to free myself from that mentality of that one. Also, I think it's the best call. Cost discount. At this point, that one just doesn't matter. Good. What do we do here? Pretty much nothing. Alright. On being hit, chance to inflict Hex, so they take more damage. Which... Doesn't matter that much, but also, since it doesn't matter that much, we might as well just... Go for it, then? So you're doing some guaranteed damage. You're doing some guaranteed A damage. It's annoying. I think it's worth it. Oh, God. Don't spread out so much, please. Okay, I like the sound of that. And then we can just play cleanup crew. I 
how are you? I was going to say, how are you not dead? All right. All right. So now we just need to charge that bad boy up again. You know what? We, don't, we probably don't need to... Have you get hit by it? Because I kind of want to make sure that I can move into radius. Because this will kill, and then I can get the shield. Which I like a lot. Why am I taking 16 damage? Because you guys do AoE as well. Gotcha. I don't need the shield, do I? I probably don't. I saw myself get high lit. Oh, I am high lit. Okay. Alright, don't you run. Oh my god. That's gonna stay charged up for the next fight, too. Oh my word. Uh, okay. Plus 42 damage for each aura you have. For every aura. I have a lot of auras. Uh, gain the sapping aura. On turn end, gain a psionic charge for every enemy in the area. Oh god. I have, I have what, three auras now? Damage aura, hexing aura, hazard aura. I have three auras. So that does make my surge do double damage or make my explosion happen a lot more often. I don't think it's hard to get my explosion off yet, anyways. I, I just know that there's going to be a shop. Like, I don't want to... I'm not taking... Uh, I'm not going to reroll it. I'm not doing it because I want to save that 75 bucks for a heal or something instead. That seems more logical. Not that I need it right now, but after. I think this shows like a good good showing of like risk reward. Yeah, I was going to say that this is probably enough to kill immediately. Because of the extra storage from last wave. What's this damage coming? God, dude. I think I might play on normal just because all of these are so annoying routinely. I also took damage before... Um, before the turn swapped over. What's that about? That was a... That was a whole fight? More crit chance. Like, with how much crit damage I have, yeah. Uh, take 20% less damage? Okay, so hold on. Is there... There's a shop after this? There is. I have 100 bucks. Let's get the vault first. No. Uh, let's get the augment. I can tell you I'm not going to bother with re-rolling that. That is... Like, that's one I would have rather gotten earlier, but it just doesn't matter right now. 20% damage resist. Okay, I'll say the Verdant Blossom is irrelevant. Going into the final boss. So we have a free one. That's why I love that relic so much, because it has such an obvious point where you're done caring about it. And that's so nice. I think that this is where we roll. It's not that that's bad. I just... There we go. On hitting an enemy, inflict a stack of shock. We can absolutely have a beautiful time with that. So this is the kind of weird, annoying guy. There's no point in even checking here. Well, what would we have gotten? 
all movement binding. I don't have a movement binding. On critting, gain a stack of evasive once per turn. On hitting, inflict eight. Well, we couldn't buy that anyways, but I don't I don't mind everything that happened here. I'm actually, I'm just going to scoot on in. Yeah, I think that that was the perfect roll, and I think that was the perfect outcome. Getting that legendary there. So yeah, this is the weirdo. We have to get his hands to punch himself in his own face. But we have, uh, you know what? We've dealt with weird aligning things this whole time, so. No way does that do that. Okay. On your next hit. Holy crap. So you can't be defeated. The fact that I can... could get you down to nothing, though, is crazy. Um... When you are in the transition phase, do you stop all your hits? That doesn't kill. There, that one would transition over. Beautiful. So, this guy, if you don't know, he takes 80% less damage there. Um, and I kind of just, uh, <laughs> you know, you saw... Is there a way I can get that guy in the aura? No. I buffed up enough? No. This is weird. So that would be hitting, but we would have to kill this guy. I don't know if I can get out of the way of that or not. I just wanted to see what that would do. On so why am I doing damage there? So is on use does when the damage aura says on use, does it mean on use of any binding? It should say that. Oh god. The order of operations there uh was satanic. We need to get you to turn. I'll get you to turn. Properly. Surely this wouldn't do it. Yeah. 
This might? I would say that that's a hit. Yeah, that, that hits the boss. Good. And this, this I don't really care. I think we maybe just run out of the radius. Okay, so that's one of them down. We get charged up energy. So that charged up energy, we could make it hit the boss, probably. Oh, God. Are you being hit by it? Yes. Well, you're not, you're not hit by it, but it is in the aura. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We do this, and then we can reset you. Oh, beautiful. God, he can run far. Okay. Um... I don't know. Is it when hit by any binding? A damaging binding. So pilfer. I was going to say I could use pilfer. Oh, God. I think that would count. I think we'd have to do it right here. Can no, lo no longer has damage resist, but cannot be knocked out. Force the hands to hit the head to increase the damage it takes. Good. That is what I wanted to do. I I'm going to want to move this. Still works, right? Yes. Is it better to just get the orb over there and then use the potion? Nah, I should save it for when I, like, have to use it. Okay, increase damage penalty. So we could do, hold on, we could do, am I safe here? I'm safe nowhere. But I just, hold on, so I could, if I did that, that's what I thought. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I, I am. I was correct in my assumption. I think that this. I think I could love this class. This could. This could be my favorite class. It needs. Just a touch of quality of life. And that quality of life is... It needs to let you know vaguely what your auras you have. What what the radius is while you're moving the orb with your initial with telekinesis. Otherwise, you just have to guess? Like, that can't be right. That's not... That doesn't have the polish of the other... Of the other characters. And it makes sense, you know. Um... What was I going to say? It makes sense because these were not tested in the, the beta, the early access or whatever. 
So it would be understandable if they're missing some some quality stuff. Uh, as you can tell, the game is out now. Do expect the Silent City has remained pristine in your encounters with the Shadow Rune Stone. It's a historic monument to the research of our imagination that must be preserved. That wretched villain may show no respect for the city using its architecture for vi more violent means, but that does not give you permission to show the same contempt. All right. Well, alas, I think that is that, and that is going to do it here for today. Uh, I've done the thing that I wanted to do, which was make sure I did a run with every uh, every character. You know, we did our Magma Miner, our Moss Cloak, Weaver, Obelisk, Clairvoyant. Uh, so now I will just kind of... I'll see what's what, see what's happening. If you guys want more, maybe we'll do more. But that was... That right there is what I really wanted to do is test the early access with all the five classes. Uh, if there's a lot of excitement, I will keep it going. If not, it's been it's been great. I, I think that uh, early access really did a, a lot of things to improve. I think that the shift in, like, the such a big shift in balance from uh, all, all damage, no matter what, is avoidable into there is some damage that is unavoidable is ultimately one that will be best for the game in, in a way that like i thought i thought i would not feel that way on like initial uh you know on initial intake of that information i was like unavoidable damage sucks um but i think that having um shielding be baked into all of the characters abilities then makes it so it's like it, it's a more of a song and dance but i think that there's some you know some growing pains from such a big change so fast uh that i think that i think they'll be balanced out and fixed up over the course of time my current thing right now is that like and i know it's the thing is it's optional you don't have to play the ranked mode but the difficulty modifiers that you have to pick between for each zone some of them just really are so sluggish. And that's the worst thing. Like, the one that makes you take two damage every time you pick up an orb, in my opinion, shouldn't exist. Uh, I think it's it's too much. That That's way, way too much. I, I feel like a lot of them that just take away your damage, take away your movement, take away... It's basically like... I love the concept of it. But I think that I think that that's a failed idea. That should I think the difficulty should come from other sources. Like I think that the the ranked mode you already get difficulty modifiers. You know, you already get difficulty modifiers by continuing to win runs. Um, like today's run I had, it was irrelevant because I didn't stand in goop. But if I stood in goop, it would have done more damage. Um. And as you keep climbing, you get more modifiers anyways. So in my eyes, it's kind of like... It feels like an unnecessary double whammy, I think. Um, like, I don't know. I, I think it's an unnecessary double whammy where the difficulty is already going to be stacked up with modifiers that they already chose. Like the 20% 20 20 more enemy health I have because I, I was on whatever the first ranking and then I got the extra goop damage. Surely things go up more and more and more and like there's more damage, more health, more etc. So I feel like that's, personally, I feel like that's enough and those kind of more tedious modifiers that you feel like you have to inflict on yourself, you just him and haw and you're like, oh my god. I think they can go. I, I really do. I think it could just wholesale be removed from the game entirely, and the game is going to get hard enough already. Uh, but I love it. Love it. Think it's fantastic. Potentially, we'll play more of it. But I, like I said, I'll just watch the videos, uh, performance, see what you guys feel in the comments, and we'll go from there. Uh, could be the end of a little mini series, though. So if it is. Been, been a real pleasure. Check out the game with the link in the top description. My name is Retromation. Cover any games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you are into, this is a channel you should be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye!